Fischer. Time to shake things up and see where they settle. But there are five troops coming in. Arrow with 1.7. Face shifts, evades it. But it seems like Denny had other, other thoughts. Kills of Patinka. Horse will come out. The double kill for Denny. Moving on to Sing Sing. Triple kill for Denny. And a force runs around with a blade mail inside. Owie, where's your Ultra? There she is. Ultra kill for Denny. But Frostbite. No, it's not. Sorry, it's the hold from Eternal Envy. But Aegis the Immortal. Go balls in. We need a rampage right now. Envy's in the base. It's a double kill for Funny. Where's your rampage? It's not there. Spectre takes the kill. Over again. Initiation on them. What they did last time was swap into an X call, bring them into the T4s. Can they do it again? Oh, there's your call swap. Havas in the front lines. RP catches three. It's good. Sonic Wave to follow, and they're all going to drop. Wow. Four dead. Empire getting annihilated here. GG surely to follow. Denny gets a nice hex. It's That's a rampage for Havas. That was a complete, up. complete opposite of Funnix first RP. Fun cool. RP1. Show up at the, the notice of defense. For now, Brad's uh, just yeah, I'm just I kind of agree with that. Uh, oh, he's also very close to buyback though, so uh, he's not cool down with that. I guess you're right. Yeah, you probably should be somewhere else. Maybe perhaps they're worried about getting ganked. Roche is up and it's dead already. Oh, Hookshot comes in. Will he grab it? He does. Oh, he does got it. Whoa, what a play from June. That went down so fast, and he was there to respond. Then get out. Are, they're still gonna kill. Are they gonna kill? Stun comes down. Oh, they bump him back. He ended up oh, getting dead. hit. He's not. Oh, he's alive. Out. He forced out. Got the blade mill off of the Baron. Barely alive. PPD trying to go. He's done a little piece right now. Four and IP. This might be what prompts them to go for the high ground if they want to. And they really need to be able to take a good fight here. Ultimate goes out. Blink away, Yonah Zafan gets some distance, so it looks like enough to be able to escape. Now Winter's Curse being laid down, there goes the Darkopter, and he will be able to get off the golds as well. Eric gets off a really good ultimate though, right in the middle of everybody. Bloodseeker's on his tail though, a man fight between the two, turns into one versus three as Bloodseeker goes down. So too see the SF fall, Darkopter dies inside of the Roshan pit, and Limp desperate for an escape here. One second to a blink, oh what a vacuum! Three man vacuum from Yonah Zafan with the wall on top, all of are going to be forced into a TP out except Lasinski. Oh, he doesn't have one. Doesn't that. have one. It's on cooldown. They're starting That's to sap away the damage, but there's a good force to come out from Smash right there to break the link. And now they step back and away. Not today. They're going to be happy with that. If they can just get a little bit. Oh, oh my, my God. God! What an RP! Set it up. Requiem on the outskirts from Sumail to try to help out. But EG still hold on for now. But no, the shock wave to fly. They got to get the hell back into base, but they're not going to allow him to run. Van starts chopping away onto Fear and takes him out. Double kill for him. Fear goes down, and it looks like not today. Might be able to clench game number two, and they have done it. We're going to a game three in the winter bracket final of the Summit 3 America Qualifier. Smash S me pass. May have to head bottom first to give him his crankle boot. But look how low Slark is. He's just getting manhandled in this off lane. Funnick is... Bring it in now above him at 19 and 4 CS. This is a fantastic start for your offlane time. Look at this, just does not care. Continues to run on through. He's just bowling him back. He's actually considering a pursuit here uh, on the Bankfish. And yeah. Bankfish is, come here, you. What do you think you're doing? I'm Stunning. not his funnick. You got to stop. Who are you? Oh, Anchor Smack's not going to catch this time. And now with rotations, this is lots of time. Now maybe Farm's like, uh oh, maybe I did go in too far. And now he's in trouble. They pounce on him. And uh, with uh, Bulba here, they commit a lot for it, but they might be able to secure a first blood bonus. No! <laughs> he takes down Vengeful Rabbit, Spirit! Rabbage, he can ravage a Kruma! Rabbage, Rabbage, no! Oh, he gets it off, he takes oh. down another! A double kill! Can he get at least one more anchor oh, smash? Yeah, for this. Yeah, this is going to be real dangerous, especially with Marge showing himself up at the top lane. MVP. They are might be able to take it out in time with all this minus arm. The sleep goes out. Can he get in range? It's oh, no, oh no! It's only oh, like he's gonna go for this himself. We hot. He can commit to it now. Drops and pick it up the ages. It's stolen away from MVP, and now they're in a bad position. The vacuum interrupts that ultimate. He won't desperately trying to get it off, but we he still got the ages. He's gonna be fine for the time being. Eternal Envy playing this game back and forth, just hiding around MVP Phoenix until they finally take out Duo, and now stalling up March as well. Another focus fire rips through the dazzle, nice and quick. We pops another wind run. We'll be able to stole up March with a shackle shot and actually manage to blink himself ahead of Dagger. He can't get anything. I lie, die. He's locked inside the pit, so it looks like that's the only kill that MVP Phoenix will be able to get at the end of this Dagger. I need a, um, he's got he's got a DD right now. Okay, this is okay. gonna be 
yeah. slightly spooky. And I like this one. Seneco, he's got Persever. He's got to be getting that Lotus Soul. They've got yeah. to get that Lotus Soul back. It's Lotus Soul. He's already predicted yeah. that they're going to go for Hex. So he yeah. just walks up by Hex Seneco. Oh, God! Oh, oh, my God! Oh, the second one as well. They've got flight. Oh, it's an ultra kill. Oh! Oh, my God! That should be illegal. That just isn't right. So that was oh, think... DD, Battle Fury, oh. two Rakers in power. Oh, GG. GG. It's just those Oh ones. my god. You can you two can back. <laughs> the hook finds one. It's onto Arteezy, but he's got an Eclipse available. Doesn't want to blow it off the battle. BKB tries to fight this. Lucid Beam still holding the Eclipse. He's thinking about it. He even started to cast it, but ends up not. Track coming in now. Are they going to go for the Requiem on the respawn? Is the timing right? Yes, it is. They get Arteezy. What a pick. The timing for burning. They're looking for more of the jump. This could be the one big fight. Track going out the other way. The Death Lord's only the back to back. The wall. The counter. From Zai. He is the difference for Secret. And now they hunt 430. Oh, he has the gem. He's got the gem. Even if he Bloodstone denies, it's a gem Oops. down. That Secret will Don't tell me he knows. Don't tell me his fighting senses are tingling. He needs to come soon. He is painting towards the pit. He expects it and he jumps in. There go. Echo on everyone. It's the charge through. It's clean up in the pit. Lotus on the high ground. He's got the BKB Eclipse. Can he make it work for himself? Oh, for now, it's not enough. Lotus trying desperately to salvage this. They will get the pike at kill. EGM running in, giving the lantern to S4. And now the follow up comes through from the dead. Well, this is before they've even brought the PL into the fight. Trapped on the high ground, the cat lady. Hang on. Hang on, Lota. Do what you can, my man. But now the lance ends him. They'll finish off all five. Bambo, pure instant.